Let's check in with News 8 Now Chief Meteorologist Greg Barnhart for a look at today's forecast. Well, today we're going to see a little bit of temperatures above normal, but we have mentioned about the showers that will be coming in later tonight, late tonight and tomorrow. Not going to be an all-day rain as we go through Thursday, but we are going to see some wet conditions returning, but not for long. So it's a dry today. There's still some haze out there that I mentioned earlier. We're going to see some of that continue to linger a little bit, but overall still good conditions. Showers late tonight. There's a potential for some thunderstorms, but I think a lot more activity will be in the form of showers and still some storms and showers and make no a lot of areas going into Thursday afternoon will probably be dry. We'll just see some redevelopment in the afternoon. I think a lot of this will be in the morning. It definitely will not be an all day type rain. As we look at, we're going to expect the increasing high clouds, but that'll take probably until the afternoon hour. We're still looking at temperatures in the mid 50s by late this morning, and then we should be climbing into the 60s, at least mid 60s, with that east wind picking up a little bit. And all this cloud cover depicted here really is high cloud, so the sun will still be able to show through this. And then as in the afternoon, we should be climbing back up into the low 70s. There could be a pockets of mid 70s as you go out, and notice the winds beginning to turn around to the southeast, and the precipitation starting to get closer. Still going to take some time, but that's an indication we do have a system that will be coming through. So the good news is going through. Wednesday evening as our temperatures are going to be staying up a little bit as we go through this after the evening commute still being dry still in the mid the upper 60s by 8 p.m. And then as we get closer to the late night 10 to midnight we're going to see some of this precipitation approach the area but as you saw it begins to fall apart so even late this evening into about midnight it's still dry conditions and temperatures will be holding up into the 60s overnight at least until about midnight. Speaking of that system, two parts, one south, one north. It's not a very strong line that does come through for the morning commute, but I do think a lot of areas will see some of the precipitation work its way through the area as we get closer to 6 to 7 in the morning. Once we get past about noon, a lot of the development pushes to the east. Now we will see some clearing skies potentially by Thursday afternoon, and that could do some redevelopment right there, but I think really the evening commute for Thursday is going to be a lot less precipitation and just some clouds and a change in the wind direction. A lot of the precipitation will probably be to the east, but that could change with redevelopment. So Thursday morning looks kind of wet, but I think Thursday afternoon and evening, a lot of areas will remain dry. And that'll continue as we go into Friday, excuse me, Thursday night into Friday morning. Dry conditions continue, but rain amounts, Outside of a thunderstorm potential, it's probably going to be fairly light amounts, maybe a quarter. If you get a thunderstorm, maybe a half inch. This weekend, we still got a little activity, but a lot of the area does look dry as we head into the weekend. But shower chances are there, but very light as we got to kind of got this weak west flow that's going to help to keep the temperatures up. But for tonight, we're looking at temperature as uh, today. We're looking at temperatures getting up to the mid 70s for most areas. Once again, cloud cover will increase. And then later on, we have those showers Thursday and then we dry out and warm up for the weekend.